Welcome to the Shaded Wood, I, I mean the Hidden Forest, a recycled area from Dark Souls 2, albeit done a little more interestingly this time around. And much like the Shaded Woods, this place also sucks egregious amounts of ass. But before I go into any detail about the area, let's see what intel we can gather from the dying NPC a little up ahead. Slay one who opposes it. One who opposes the Buddha? Correct. <laughs> the one of whom I speak hides in an abandoned temple up ahead. He sealed away the village in a shadowy fog. But he can fool the villagers. An abandoned temple? Yes. It's an old building. <laughs> the door may be closed. There should be a hole in the second floor. From speaking with the dying Buddhist, we now know that the mist that enshrouds this forest is an unnatural one. Throughout the entirety of this area, you'll be ambushed by illusory, yet corporeal bandits that can easily overwhelm you if you're inattentive to your surroundings. Speaking succinctly, this area isn't all that complicated, but it can be frustrating for a first-time player if you're easily enticed by shiny objects. It's imperative that you take note of your surroundings, lest you run into this handsome headless fellow, which we're promptly going to run the fuck away from, as I don't currently have the resources necessary to deal with him. Also, I suck at him. Also, he's very, very spooky. That dude is an asshole. Anyway, continue progressing through the forest. Shit, I fell down. Where am I going? This is where I just was. That's the scary thing. What is happening? As I mentioned before, this place sucks total ass. Please allow me a minute to regain my sense of direction. And of course, it would appear that I'm too far away to grapple, so I have to run around. I cannot express to you how much I hate this goddamn level. Anyway, as I was saying before, continue progressing through the forest. Head past the dying Buddhist, but be sure to collect the pellet. Oh. And feel free to take out some pent-up aggression on the big black cock, if you feel you need to. Oh, and if one big black cock wasn't enough for you, don't worry, because there's plenty of big black cock to go around. Forge ahead, and make your way into the next wide-open clearing. This next area is much like the previous one, but the illusory phantom bandits will now be accompanied by illusory phantom dogs because of fucking course. However, the illusory phantoms, much like lady butterflies, can be dispelled should you happen to have a snapseed. There's a few remaining items in the surrounding area for us to collect, but luckily for us, this area isn't all that large. I hate you stupid motherfuckers so goddamn much. Three Souls games, and they had to rip shit from Dark Souls 2. Once you've collected everything of interest, head backwards to the wall to the left of the entrance to this section of the forest, and look up high to find a branch that you can grapple to. Here we encounter another mini-boss. He's essentially a Juzo the Drunkard rebrand, with the exact same moveset as the one from the Harada estate. We've already seen him though, so I'm not really interested in fighting him. Regrettably, I'm unable to share any lore on him with you, as I have no idea what significance him being here has, though it is possible that he may have been searching for the mist and shrouded village of Mibu, but wandered astray, having resigned himself to perpetually wander the mist of Mibu. After killing the totally not lazily copy-pasted Juzo, make your way up the cliffside. Don't forget to snag the coin purse below if you need it. Grapple to the branch just ahead, and use it to access the roof of the dilapidated temple the dying Buddhist spoke of earlier, and work your way around the right side of the roof to find a small hole. Take perch upon the beam, and perform a death blow on the robed figure that awaits below. Or don't. It honestly doesn't really matter, because it's already dead. Yes, that was a mini-boss. 
lump of grave wax, a lump of fatty wax that is formed inside the body and turned pitch black, used for occultic prosthetic tool upgrades of an advanced nature. A long-suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run water over the site of an extracted growth, with the corrupted noble now dead. The unnatural mist that once enveloped this forest begins to slowly fade. The restless spirits that once wandered this forest can at long last find their rest. With our destination finally in sight, we now advance to the Forsaken haunted grounds of Mibu Village.